and do a quick video on testing these compressors. Obviously these, this is a, a relay and an overload cutout. That gets a signal from the, uh, I think that's the power wire going to the thermostat. So that will get a signal to tell the, the uh, compressor to kick in. There's no overload cutout just in case this gets seized or the capacitor goes or something so it don't overload. And obviously there's the capacitor as well, so could be the thermostat, which I've already done a video on replacing. The capacitor, the relay or overload cutout, or the, compre the compressor itself. So to start I'm just going to unplug it, make sure it's safe, which it is already. I'm going to take these two wire connectors off, usually there's a plastic cover over here but I already took it off. They can, that could be problematic itself but you'll get it done. Just undo these and pull them right free. Pull the wires out, and on this one, it just pulls free. So, I don't know if you've seen that, might not have showed you. So, it just slides free. And you want to undo the earth cable. Make sure you don't lose the screw. So that's pulled free now. We we'll get this little pry bar and pry that off. That comes free, look. You can take photos of that. Make sure you know where all the wires go and replace that. There's your three pins you wind in for your motor of the compressor. And that's what I'm going to test first. So just test all three winders like you would on a new motor, single phase motor. I will just warn you though that capacitor could have charge still left in it so don't, don't go anywhere near that unless you have to. So the first one's got 60 ohms. Move the walls about. 23, so I'd say that's the start winding. 40, so they're all different, but we're all getting good healthy readings and there ain't no short circuits. So now I'll test each one to the earth terminal. So just click click on the earth terminal. and just touch each one. Open loop or open circuit. Open circuit and open circuit. So that's proving that there's no leaks to earth, no danger of it shorting out to earth. So the, the, the compressor Test good. Now what I also do is, at this point, I'll just set it up and then I'll come back. As you can see I've back probed that. So you can see it there. Back probed into the one side of the cap uh, capacitor and back probed into the other side of the capacitor but unfortunately it's reading really OL so that means that this does not go small enough to read it it's only a really small capacitor so 
that's just a limitation of my multimeter. There's nothing wrong with the capacitor because I know it works. So, but yeah, that's the problem with having a cheap multimeter. Sometimes they don't do what you want them to do. So, but that's the principle. Just back probe it, or you could remove the connectors. Probably best to connect, remove the connectors. But I don't want to do it on this one because I know this one's all right. I just wanted to show you the idea of how to do it. So that's it, I'll put it back together. So, just want to find this the right way for this. Push the probes on. Then do the earth. Put this bracket back on. It'll take two hands, so we're we'll back in a minute when I've got it set up. So I've got to push it down just uh, position and I'm just screwing them down to the tight. And that's it. The capacitor. It's got the it's in its own slot down here. That's your main cable. But anyway, that's it. I'll put this plastic cover on in a minute. 